and they're off. El Mucho, good start, so to Power Alley. Those two fastest out of there as they race up the chute. In behind is Forever Cool, Seas of Normandy, and Adishay's at the back early, dropping five lengths off the lead as they move up the back stretch. And El Mucho is out there showing the way. The lead's a length. Power Rally is keen toward the inside of Forever Cool. They're together second and third, and Seas of Normandy advances to their outside. Up into fourth, only two lengths off the lead. Adishé biding his time at the back, still four behind. So they move for the far turn, and El Mucho's the leader. Got an opening quarter in a modest, to say the least, 24 seconds flat. Advantage, long shot El Mucho on the far turn. The lead's a length. Forever Cool, right there, second. Seas of Normandy, three wide, third. Power Rally, given more rain, fourth. Adishé has been moved to the far outside, fifth. Two and a half lengths behind with two furlongs to go. And El Mucho off the turn in front. El Mucho heads for home. Still with a short lead. Right on the outside, it's Forever Cool. Adishé has been switched out. Power Rally is there. One furlong to go. Here comes Adishé. Here comes Power Rally. These two go on by. Adishé's in front. Power Rally's up into second. Adishé overcomes the soft pace to score. A length in the end. Power Alley was second, Forever Cool was third, and Seas of Normandy fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. Centurion from the outside. Thank God and Greyhound from the rail. And time to medal between them and Platinum Ghost from that far outside, too. But Thank God and Greyhound steps out to lead, opens up to lead by two. Time to Meadow comes on to grab second. Platinum Ghost, three wide, first turn, third. Punctuality, fourth toward the rail. Centurion between them, fifth. A margin of three, back to Levy in sixth. Eyes on deck is seventh, and Lemonade at the latch, the trailer in eighth. They turn to the back stretch run after an opening quarter in 23 and three. And it's Thank God and Greyhound, the leader, the leader by two. Time to Meadow is stalking this pace in second down the back stretch run. And it's a gap of four. Back to Punctuality, another four from there to Platinum Ghost and Centurion. They're about six or seven lengths off the lead. They're both starting to move up just a bit. Five more back to Levy, and then it's Lemonade at the latch and Eyes on Deck. So here's the far turn, and it's Thank God and Greyhound the leader. Still clear by length and a half or so. Time to medal, still second. Punctuality honing it inside while third. Centurion is starting to find his best stride now. Up into third, a steady march to the front there. Platinum Ghost is following Centurion. Levy's picking it up from the back, but it's in a drive as they come outside the quarter pole where, thank God, and Greyhound is off the turn in front by two. Centurion runs at him now. Three sixteenths to go, and Centurion has taken charge. Centurion the leader by two. In the meantime, Punctuality's coming on, and so too is Levy. Levy giving way as Thank God and Greyhound in a bit tight there. But as they come for the finish, it's all Centurion. Centurion will score by five or more lengths on the wire. And Levy got second. Punctuality third. Platinum Ghost fourth. In the gate and they're off. Slow start, baby, no worries. Good start for Miner's Queen, who sprints out for the lead. Going good is there, Linguistic, and the outside, Karimba races up to join Miner's Queen. So those two go head-to-head -head now, and going good is right there in behind them, third. Linguistic in fourth, farther back in the field, ready for change, comes away fifth, New Boston inside sixth. And the trailer slow starting, baby, no worries. Karimba has taken charge. Karimba hits the far turn in front by two now. Going good is on the move. She's up into second. Miner's Queen under pressure back third toward the inside. Two and a half back. Linguistic ready for change. New boss. And baby no worries. Quarter pull. Karimba's off the turn with going good. Sauntering up alongside these two. One, two. Miner's Queen third toward the rail. One for long to go. Karimba something left. Spurts away by two and a half. Going good is fully extended. But it's losing ground to the wire. Karimba, full of run today. She scores by four. Going good, held second, tight for third there, Linguistic or Miner's Queen. They are in the gate, and they're off.
Valuable cargo pinch back just a bit coming out of there. Angelico, good start. Blues Admiral is there. Chitwood comes through toward the inside. Off the cuff is up there, too. And so is Azteca Star. So down the back st stretch run, and Chitwood comes on through. It's Chitwood with an arrow lead. Angelico's right there racing in second. Blues Admiral is now third off the cuff, up into fourth. Back to reality, advancing toward the inside. Fifth, Azteca Star is now sixth. Colonel Barton on the outside, seventh. Savage Kiss, eighth toward the rail. Valuable cargo's racing in ninth by six or seven and prosecutions to trailer chitwood rattles off a quarter 21 and three three furlongs from the wire chitwood's in front of length and a quarter Angelico's on the move, and so too is Blues Admiral revving up three wide. They're both coming on and coming after Chitwood as they hit the quarter pole. Chitwood right up against the rail off the turn short lead. Angelico to the attack. Here comes Angelico coming after Chitwood. Angelico nose in front of the eighth pole. Blues Admiral down the center. Back to realities in behind. One for long remaining. Angelico gets away by two now by three. Hundred yards left. Back to reality. Flying finish. Here comes back to reality. Angelico holds on to do it. Angelico, an upset winner over back to reality. Colonel Barton and Chitwood. And they're off. Round ball rock, good start away from home is there. So too is unwrapped. And on the far outside, Battleborn is racing up. And Guadalajara with some speed as well. As they race up to shoot and come for the main track. And it will be unwrapped. Two scampers clear. Opens up a length and a half as they cross over. And Battleborn's going to stalk second. Away from home toward the inside is out in third. Speed Institute on the move from fourth, fighting back up into fifth. Guadalajara shuffled all the way back to the back with round ball rock the trailer, but they're only about four lengths off the lead, and that leader is unwrapped down the back stretch run, whose opening quarter was 22-4. and four. They hit the half-mile pole, and here's Speed Institute now. A steady ascent through the field to press for the lead. They're onto the far turn going 1-2. Unwrapped short lead. Speed Institute grapples with that one. Fighting back is perched out three or four wide but is right there and so too is Battleborn and down inside is away from home. At the back Guadalajara and Round Ball Rock round the far turn. Speed Institute continues to bandy with unwrapped. They're off the turn. Speed Institute short lead. Fighting back is wide off the turn but putting in a run. Battleborn's in between horses down to the final furlong and fighting back has rallied to take charge right at the eighth pole and is opening up now. Fighting back by four. Guadalajara is late in the scene down the center, but will try and only get second because fighting back has first wrapped up. Under the wire to win it by six, Guadalajara did manage second. Tight for third, Speed Institute unwrapped or away from home. They're in the gate. And they're off. Some crowding there at mid-pack. Sneed took the worst of it. Good start for Greer's Ferry and Smokey Smokey. And so to Mo Caliente and Veracruzin from that far outside post. Races up to join the leaders too. Three across the track by his first time. Greer's Ferry and Smokey Smokey. These two go head-to-head. -head. Mo Caliente is gathered back into third a little bit wide into that first turn. In the meantime, Creek sneaks through down inside, up to be fourth, Veracruz, and right there, two fifth, two lengths back, Uno Mas Bourbon racing in sixth. Polar Bear Plunge far outside, seventh, Yo Daddy is eighth by two. Glenbrook Jerry's racing in ninth, Gorilla Trek's in tenth by another two. Sneeds all the way back at eleventh, and it's five lengths back to aspiring comedian, who's a dozen lengths off the lead. But the pace is honest, 23 seconds flat for that opening quarter mile. And it's Smokey, Smokey, and Greer's Ferry. These two sharing the lead together. Greer's Ferry at the inside. Smokey, Smokey, right alongside second. And Creek is in behind, down inside, while third. Vera Cruzen, cruising along in fourth. Mo Caliente, three wide, far turn, run fifth. Uno Mas Bourbon in sixth. Polar Bear Plunge started to muster up a rally. Seventh outside of Yo Daddy. Farther back in the field, Gorilla Trek, Glenbrook, Jerry, and Sneed. Round the far turn, Smokey, Smokey grabs the lead. Smokey, Smokey in front at the quarter pole. Greer's Ferry tries to fight on. Vera Cruzen needs to find a seam. There's a big opening there. Not so for Creek, who's bottled up in 
stymied. Mo Caliente clear sailing down the center. Uno Mas Bourbon's picking through the pack. Gorilla Trek is coming on from the far outside. Mo Caliente tenuous lead. Uno Mas Bourbon, Smoky Smoky checked. A very green Gorilla Trek coming down the center. Might be coming best of all and is. Gorilla Trek is up to do it. Mo Caliente, Uno Mas Bourbon. Then it was either Sneed or Greer's Ferry. They're in the gate, and they're off. Shania breaks in stride, and Shippet is there to Yolanda, who with a good start as well. Sister Kiss is not the best of beginnings, but she's racing up toward the inside to join the leaders, too. But Yolanda, who is quickest, quickest early, opens up a length and a half. Shippet on the chase in second. Sister Kisses comes off the rail to track from third. Shania, fourth, right up on the pace as well. Silver Sea toward the inside is fifth. Tonalise in sixth, and at the back is Alsana. And up top, it's Yolanda Hu, who rifles through that quarter in 22 and 3. The leader just more than a length. Ship it with more pressure now. Here's Ship it coming on. And Shania, three wide, right on the far turn, and only a half length behind. Four more lengths back to Sister Kisses, who's under a ride now. Then it's Tonalise. From the back of the pack, Alsana trying to come on with a late rally. Eight lengths behind, and a quarter mile to go. Yolanda Hoos off the turn with a tenuous lead. Chippets in between. Shania's cut loose. Sister Kisses trying to re-rally. There's one for long to go. And here's Shania. Shania has taken over and opens up to lead by two. Sister Kisses trying to come on late with Al Sana, But Shania is gone. Shania scores by three lengths on the wire, and Al Sana grabs second. Sister Kisses settles for third, and Yolanda Hu was fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. Musical prayer, awkward start. Saucy Secret breaks out on top and is racing for the lead. Golden Sugar is there. And Fox Fire from the far outside comes on as well. Up the back stretch they go. And it's Saucy Secret short lead. Fox Fire second. Golden Sugar now third. Musical prayer recovers up to be fourth. Upswell in traffic fifth. Super explosive down inside sixth. Cause I'm wild in the clear seventh and in tight at the back and awkward there is fast and happy. Checked a few times down the back stretch run. The opening quarter sharp 21 and three. They're on the fire turn saucy secret pushed along by Foxfire. These two, one, two, and three for lungs to go. And Musical Prayer sidles up three wide, length and a half behind, putting in a run now. Super Explosives following that one. Golden Sugar's tucked away in behind. Upswell is wide, fast and happy. He's trying to find a way through. They're off the turn. Musical Prayer powers up and takes the lead. Wanders about the track, but is in front with a furlong to go, but now has to deal with Super Explosive. And so too Foxfire, who fights on. One sixteenth to go. Foxfire down inside. Super Explosive outside, down to these two now, and Super Explosive finishes best. Super Explosive the winner. Foxfire was second. Musical Prayer third, and Fast and Happy fourth. They're in the gate, and they're off. Good beginning for Sakil, and so too Night Effect, and down inside Arrow Smash, and farther out, is honed, but it's Night Effect who steps out to lead into the first turn, opening up a length into a quarter. Angled over toward the inside to show the way. Suck Hill comes on to grab second. Arrow Smash settles in toward the rail to be third. Honed is out in fourth. Ten days later, coming up down inside fifth. Bermito reserved while sixth. Highland Falls follows him in seventh, followed by Secret Pocket in eighth. And Divern into the trailer in ninth as they turn to the back stretch run. Night Effect, the leader, prompted along by Sakil. Sakil comes up alongside. These two will share the lead down the back stretch. The opening quarter's on the board in 23 and 4. Sakil's running well off the rail right alongside of Night Effect. Two lengths back to Arrow Smash and Hone. They're third and fourth together. Ten days later, right at the inside, racing in fifth, Bermudos in sixth. Secret Pocket goes past Highland Falls. Divernon is at the back as they're on the far turn now. Night Effect continues to tussle with Sakil. Sakil with those pink blinkers on the outside of Night Effect. Right in behind is Arrow Smash. Bermudo trying to come up on through. Ten days later, is covered up down inside. And then it's honed. Divernon goes to the far outside as Highland Falls tries to find a way through. Secret Pocket at the back. They're off the turn. Sakil! Sakil! 
Shield takes the lead. Top of the stretch kicks away by two. Aero Smash continues to grind away. Ten days later is coming on. Bramito, one for long remaining. Sakil wanders to the far outside, but it's a three-length lead. Ten days later, an Aero Smash chasing Sakil to the wire. Sakil first, tight second there, ten days later. And Highland Falls, who is late on the scene, at Aero Smash was fourth. They are in the gate. And they're off. Good start for Loris Charm, and so too Showgirl Lynn B. Those two fastest out of there. Little Jewel between them and trying to back off this early pace. And from the far outside, Current Climate is racing up with Mima Jun there too. So down the back stretch, Loris Charm to go head to head with Showgirl Lynn B. These two head to the far turn together. And Current Climate from the far outside comes on to make it three across the track for the far turn. Franco Baby down inside, racing in fourth. Little Jewel's too wide, while fifth, three pads off the rail is. Mima June in sixth. Lady Gold start within range as well at the back are Majestic Doro and Promise of Hope. They come for the top of the stretch. Wide trip for current climate but comes off the turn short lead. Fighting on is Laura's charm. So too Shogo Lin B. Lady Gold start down the center. Majestic Doro trying to straighten out. Little Jewels in behind horses. Eighth pole now. Current climate still with a short lead. Lady Gold starts asked to quicken but current climate kicks away. Current climate and on the outside Majestic Doro in between Lady Gold Start, Current Climate. The winner in the end. Lady Gold Start settles for second. Majestic Doro was third, and Little Jewel finished fourth.